Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda and um, I am Debt Free Panda on Instagram. And today we are going to go through my whole how I set up my budget process um, in my Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner. And um, let's see, normally I start this at the end of the month, but I got a little busy this month and last month, so I'm a little late. Tomorrow is the first payday for October, so I guess it's not too late, but it's not exactly in the time frame that I prefer. So let's go ahead and get started. I have some of my um, some of my favorite stickers that I like to use up in the front here. So I'll take those out. First things first, I got some new things I wanna put in here. I got this super cute die cut sticker from Planet with Stickers. And I just want to put it in the front of my planner. It's like a super cute um, galaxy print. Can you guys see? <laughs> yeah, super cute. Oh, that's adorable. Okay, so I'm going to flip over to October. Here we are. Here's October. I can show you September real fast if I remember to fill it in. I did. Okay. So this was September. I like to keep track of my current debt on the side right here. Um, and I like to put in all of my bills and also some money milestones. Like I was able to put $800 um, onto my American Express credit card, which is great. Um, and yeah, so we're basically just going to repeat this in October. So let's go ahead and get started. I have these stickers from Planet with Stickers. They're just simple check boxes. And I figured these would be good for writing in my monthly bills and even, you know, regular planning as well. So I'm going to reference my budget by paycheck workbook that I have on the side right here. Yes, I have two different planners for my budget. <laughs> so I'm gonna reference that to start placing down all of my bills and stuff. So Go ahead, enjoy, sit back, relax. I'm not gonna really be talking through this. <laughs> okay, see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I just got done laying down all the stickers for my bills and subscriptions and all that sorts of stuff. So now I'm going to lay down my paydays, and I love these stickers from Baba Bear. This is actually from her shop when she was on Etsy, and she offered glossy or matte, and I was on this like glossy paper kick for whatever reason, and so I have this super old sheet of fat stack stickers, and I asked if she was going to bring them back, and she said that she might um, bring them back, but she also might have some oopsies, so... I'm hoping that she brings them back because they are my absolute favorite and they're so freaking cute. And I just gave away my last um, full sheet. So this is like her new style. It's premium matte and her new logo and she has a di totally different logo than that, I even believe, so. And the reason why I love them is because they just like fit perfectly in the monthly box. I know I'm gonna get asked, and this is Color Street Nails. Um, I don't sell it, I just support my friends who do. And I think this is the petite size, um, and I think it's called Achieve Grapeness. So Achieve Greatness, but a play with the purple. Um, I was really struggling with the regular sized Color Street Nails, so when they came out with the petite, I knew I had to try them, and they fit my nail beds so much better. This one got put on a little crooked, but that's okay. And if you don't know, it's 100% real nail polish and stuff. And I've been finding that I was picking at them a lot, so I put on a layer of top coat just to deter myself from um, picking at them because when I get nervous, I start picking at my polish and yeah. Anyways, so there's that. Got my paydays down, um, got all my bills set settled in. So let's go ahead and start up. So I'm going to put this, um, I'll put this up here and let's start writing in our um, bill. 
So on the first of every month, I get charged for Patreon. Okay, so I forgot to put down another bill. Apologies for the cat meows. They all think I'm crazy because I'm talking to no one. <laughs> uh oh, are you gonna be in in the film? <laughs> oh, Teddy. So the seventeenth used to be my Chase credit card payment, but Chase is now completely paid off. So um, this used to have two bills, just like some of these other days do. So this is actually um, another Great Lakes loan because it's all under my account. So um, my sister just sends me money before this date and then it auto drafts out of my account because for some reason you can't have two bank accounts on there. Um, so yeah, so there's that. There's all of my bills. Let's go ahead and calculate my current debt for the month of October. I used to be paying my debt from smallest to largest. So that's how I will just continue laying out. But if you have been following my Instagram stories, then you know that I had this huge debacle with Amex and PayPal. Um, because PayPal, the credit card, um, the special financing card that they offer, um, it does not report to the credit bureaus, which is a good thing if you're like me and you have a high balance, but it's also a bad thing if you're like me and paying off your debt. <laughs> um, so it, since it doesn't, ref since it doesn't um, inform the credit bureaus of on-time payments, um, you know, your balance ratio and stuff. It's almost pointless for me to pay this off first when American Express has a 26% interest rate and PayPal only has about a 20%. So since Amex reports to the credit bureau, I'm focusing on paying off Amex more than I am on PayPal. So there's all my credit cards, I think, <laughs> yes. Oh, it used to be so many more, you guys. Um, so let's do total. So I like to keep it separate because credit card it is my main focus right now. Everything else is still getting paid on and all that stuff, but yeah, I just like to total it separately. <laughs> okay, so next is... Let's see, I think it's, um, let's do my, my car. And then Nelnet. And then Great Lakes. Grand total for all of my debt combined. Grand hotel, oh my gosh. <laughs> if you guys didn't know, I do work with hotels as part of my main job. This is real life, you guys. Everybody makes mistakes. That does not look pretty at all, but that's okay. Total. Oh, that looks beautiful, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. I'll fill this in later <laughs> because I need my phone to do this and that's what's filming this video. So I will fill this in later and um, we'll film it after. That way it's in here, you know. So let's move on to the second part of my budgeting process, which is filling in a monthly overview of my budget. So that's over here. And something super duper exciting is if I can find it I have partnered with planet with stickers she has become one of my best friends on the internet <laughs> she
she's based out in Canada and um, she proposed this idea of having a exclusive um, monthly budget spread and me providing them for you guys so this is what I'll be using today it's an exclusive design can you guys see yeah okay so it's this it's a monthly budget spread but this is like the actual um, budget spread so hopefully there's not a, much of a glare but this is a little bit different so we have variable expenses and sinking fund total, month total, payday, fixed expenses. Like these are new ones, which is what um, I will be offering in my shop. But I'll just be using this today because it's just, it's the same exclusive design with the floral and stuff. So this is what I'll be using. And then as far as what will be offered in the shop very soon is this super cute monthly budget spread with you know income source, fixed expenses, variable expenses, savings, and sinking funds. Um, and then another design is this super gorgeous blues and purple watercolor type with the same kind of layout. Um, so today I'll be using the roses and the you know the floral stuff for October's monthly budget. Is that straight? <laughs> Probably not. Okay. Um, then I'll do income store. So I'm going to start writing down as I put stickers down. That way I'm not losing track of how many lines I have for everything. And then the part that's different with between the kit that I'm using and the one that would be available in the shop is that Instead of um, expenses and bills, there's um, fixed expenses and variable expenses. So um, bills would be, in my mind, what would be fixed, and then the normal expenses would just be what's variable. And these strip stickers fit perfectly inside the lines of the Erin Condren. So I'm going to going to go ahead and start writing down all of my bills, the parts that are fixed. So these are fixed expenses. Let's see here. There's bills total. That's what I was looking for. So let's do expenses next talking talking and doing stuff at the same time is not exactly my forte. So let's see, expenses would be, my variable expenses would be gas. And I think that's it. <laughs> let's do the savings portion next. So I do an automatic transfer. You guys probably couldn't see any of that. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. So I do an automatic savings transfer every time I get paid. So um, I'm just gonna call it transfer. See, and I always forget about my sister's Great Lakes that comes out. So I'm just gonna do plus the 242 right there. And the tricky part of my budget that I don't normally share with anyone is my savings transfers um, that happen every payday actually pay for my car insurance. So I have $75 that goes into a separate um, savings account that's reserved just for my car insurance. That should be a 200 and not a 100. <laughs> that doesn't look like a two. Oh well, okay. and. Not only do we have all of this, but I also have my sinking funds. Well, see, and I forgot to do my cash envelopes too. So I'll just put that under sinking funds. And this is actually the page I normally use for my paycheck tracking, which will be next. But yeah. 
cash envelopes. So there's that. It's a little confusing. I'll do all the math later. Um, I always end up having extra money at the end of the month, even though it might not look like it. Um, but yeah, so let's get started on the paycheck so, side. I don't know, I think this came in a um, an Erin Condren seasonal surprise box, but I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure because this is like the super old matte sheets and their new sheets are like not matte, I don't know. But <laughs> I'm gonna use this today as well as using this sticker book that's also from Erin Condren. It just has like the monthly monthly stuff in it. So see, there's July, August, September, and then here's October. So I'm gonna be using some of these stickers in here. I'll use these two purple dashed, those two, for, you know, marking the paydays and stuff. I normally just write down my bills and then the amounts due. I don't really keep track of the income I receive because like I said, it's more of just a visual a visual thing for me to, you know, write down all of my bills and stuff for each paycheck. But for this sake, I will write down um, the income. So that will be, this is my adult job estimation for debt-free panda commi um, commission. Um, income because if you don't know I do have a shop that has printables and digital downloads um, and then of course accounting for my sister's Great Lakes payment and then a rollover which is what is currently in my bank account right now before I get paid so that total comes out to 1642 So you probably can't see the writing on the dark purple, but I'm just writing the date of my paychecks on here. Okay, so now I'm going to write the bills that I will be paying for this paycheck. Okay, so Patreon, I have a $5 a month subscription for a rabbit rescue that's based in the UK. Um, it's just $5 a month and it helps them with bunny supplies and things like that. And then I, I'm also giving to this plant company called Veristruct, and it's $16 a month, and it's actually help allowing them to give away free house plants for events that they do all around the country. So with me giving them $16, they're able to pass out eight free plants at these events. And I just, you know, they explain it so much better, so I'll try and remember to leave their Instagram in the description box. But if you guys want to help them out as well, um, I'll leave both of the Patreons down below. Um, Lola is a fem feminine hygiene subscription. It's only $10 a month. And the tampons are made out of 100% cotton, which is so much better for you and the environment. And um, I, I don't know, I really like them. They ship, you know, a few days before my period starts. So it's really handy. And then FLR is Family Life Radio, and I just give $15 a month towards their ministry because it's a Christian um, music radio show, and they don't take on advertisements or, um, you know, company ads. There's all that explanation. I, whew, I'm out of breath. Okay, so let's start writing things down. Okay, there's that. So that's all done. That's it. So that's how I budget. Let's go through it again in case you forgot. <laughs> I like to have my monthly view. That way I have an overview of all of this stuff. And I like to have a monthly budget set out so that I know, you know, the entirety of my income sources and all of my bills and all of my expenses and savings and cash envelopes and sinking funds. And then also my budgeting by paycheck. I like to write down all of my bills here. Um, like, okay, I'll be paying this much money for this paycheck and then this much money for this paycheck. So hopefully if you're new to budgeting, this helps a little bit. Um, hopefully I can get the hang of doing a monthly budget. Um, because 
I used to not have it um, separated out like this before, but I do like having it separated because then I know exactly, you know, what section of things are coming out of my, my income. So I'm going to um, write down all of my current debt and I'll show you guys in a minute. So here is my totals um, with all of my debt for the month of October. Let's take a look at September's numbers. So PayPal went down, Wells Fargo went down. Um, yeah, just a little bit. Amex definitely went down. It used to be over $5,000. Um, but now that did go up because I am still in school. Um, so I am still taking out loans. Um, so my total debt went up just slightly only because of nail net. So that is the comparison of last month to this month. And I really hope that this budgeting method um, resonates with you. If you really like it, I hope that you take it up as well. Having the monthly overview along with having the monthly budget overview helps me a lot visually. And of course, having the um, paycheck overview is really nice as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, I will leave all sorts of information in the description box down below. If you want to see more videos, let me know. Hit that subscribe bu button and, um, and hit that bell too so that you're notified when I do upload new videos. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have a blessed week. Thanks.